Hi, I'm Sonia and I help people take their power back. I am now offering one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you are interested in that or supporting this channel, go ahead and check out my Ko-Fi page in the description below. In this video, I wanna talk about what happens when you ha start having new thoughts, when you start choosing to assume something different. What actually happens as a result of that because everyone talks about you know like well you got to do something you got to take action right it's all about the action everyone wants to know well what do i do to get where i want to go and uh, neville goddard and i've talked about in past videos that there's nothing that you can do to ensure or speed up your manifestation and i wanted to talk a little bit more about that today so what I've noticed as I go deeper on this journey is when I truly am choosing a different thought and I am putting myself into that state and I am keeping myself there and I'm rejecting anything else. It's like anything else that comes in that wants to make me think something against what I want to be true. I'm saying no to it, right? Going back to what I want to be true instead. What I have noticed is that just like you are experiencing things now, you are going to experience things from this state. Okay, so I'll give you an example. When I wanted to start on YouTube, I had to make the decision that I was a YouTuber. Before that, I had been spent years wanting to get on YouTube, thinking about getting on YouTube, and yes, now I'm petting Jax because he's over here. Um, thinking about it, debating it, thinking all the reasons why I should and why I shouldn't and what would I do and what about this and what about that. And then one day I just said, you know what, I'm just going to start telling myself I'm a YouTuber because I'm fucking tired of this. And as I stepped into the assumption in my head, not doing anything, I just assumed I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber when I'd start thinking, but what? No, I'm a YouTuber, meaning that's not a problem because I'm a YouTuber right? Just like Abdullah was teaching Neville, you're in Barbados. If you are a YouTuber, then you're not worried about how you set up your channel or what kind of content you make or how kind of, you're going to get followers or all of that crap. You're not thinking about any of that because none of that is relevant if you are a YouTuber, right? So as I started to tell myself that, the inspirations, the desires, the next steps showed up without me having to figure out what they were. I started telling myself, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a YouTuber. Then one day I'm like, well, if I'm a YouTuber, I need to set up a YouTube channel. And it was like the easiest thing I ever did. I didn't try to figure it out. I just was led to all of the information that I needed in order to easily set up my YouTube channel. Then one day, I literally was like, today's the day I'm, I'm recording videos. You can go watch my first video. If you go watch my videos from the beginning, since the beginning of June of this year, 2023, I started posting June 1st of this year. If you watch my videos, you will see how that mindset has progressed my channel and all the things. My first video is literally me coming on here and going, hi, I'm Sonia. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but here I am. And I, bo I bulk film my videos, so there's like a few of those, but you'll see every video, it started to unfold a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. All for me deciding I'm a YouTuber. Just like all the objections and all the things led to me having more questions in my head about like, how, how do I do this? And what should I do about this? And what should I do about that? By choosing what I wanted, the steps, the next step showed up. And that is what I have noticed the absolute most as I am stepping into, excuse me, bigger manifestations is when I am consistently changing my thoughts about something, the ideas and the inspirations are following without me having to do anything. And it's similar 
to before. Like it's the same as it was before. It's just, I know that I'm heading in a different direction, if that makes sense, right? I know my outcome is I'm a successful YouTuber because I know, because that's what I'm telling myself, right? Ignoring the 3D, doing what I need to do in the moment. And I know that that is inevitable and it is going to happen exactly the way I want it to happen. I don't have to worry about it. I just need to be in the present moment taking the next step the next step that's it that used to be a big problem of mine i was trying to plan 12 steps out into the future and i was too afraid to take the one step i needed to take when you bring yourself back into the present moment i cannot stress the present moment enough but you take yourself back to the present moment and you allow things a little bit to unfold. I never was forcing, like, I have to get my YouTube channel set up. If I'm going to be a YouTuber, I have to do that. It was, no, I'm going to do that right now. Today's the day I'm filming videos. Tomorrow, June 1st, I, on May 20, or May 30th, the day before the 1st, was, yeah, the 30th, 31st, I don't know, whatever. The day before June 1st, I filmed my videos and started posting them. There was no plan that that was what was going to happen. It just was kind of, I had the idea that I, you know, I want to start and that's how it unfolded. I didn't try to control it. I didn't try to figure it out. The inspiration, the idea came because I was telling myself what I wanted to be true. A really good example of this, this is something that just happened to me and I will be honest, I have never really felt the state of the wish fulfilled and I have manifested plenty of things. I've talked about them on this channel. I have always just worked on the assumption and been like, yeah, no, this is how it's gonna be. No, this is how it's gonna be. No, this is how it's gonna be. Well, one of the things that I have been affirming recently is that I have a full clientele, meaning I have so many people who want to work with me. I literally can't take any more clients. And so I was watching a movie and it was a movie I had seen before. Didn't really care about watching, but I was like, I'll watch it. And I'm like, I'm going to just affirm while I watch this movie. So while I'm watching this movie, I was, it kept my attention enough and I'm in my head just... I have a full clientele. I have a full clientele. I have a full clientele. So many people want to work with me. I have a full clientele. I have a full clientele. I have a full clientele. In the middle of watching this movie, while I'm just like mindlessly affirming and watching a movie, I had, I felt the shift and went, holy crap. The voice in my head that is usually the voice of why would that happen? That's impossible. How are you going to do that? You don't know how to do that. Blah, 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 blah all of a sudden was like, holy shit, you have so many clients, you don't know how to work with, you, you can't work with them all. How are you gonna work with more people? And it fucking freaked me out. <laughs> I was like, whoa. That is what happens when you choose to assume the things that you want instead of confirm the crap that's happening in front of you or accept things that you no longer want to be true. Your reality literally changes. Your thought processes literally change. It's that simple. And until you experience it, it's kind of hard to explain, but that is the best way that I can articulate what happened for me when I chose a thought and just went with it. Do I have any idea how any of that's going to happen? No. Do I ever know how anything is going to happen? No. In the present moment, in my head, I choose the assumptions that I want to be true because I know now that I have a choice. I don't have to accept whatever the first thing my brain goes to is. I can acknowledge it and then go, no. I actually choose this instead. And as you choose the thing that you want, the rest is going to show up in ways that you can't even imagine. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Love and light.